Hi everyone. In this video, I provide some basic insight into how I ad identify popular captaincy picks for a given game week, why it's important, also looking at current trends, and my EO predictions for game week three. So without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, my record on captaincies in the past was simply not great at all. I heavily relied on gut instinct and sometimes took far greater risks than I should have and it more often than not failed on me. So about two and a half years ago I decided to remodel the way I pick captaincy and I've adopted this captain EO and captain obvious approach. So what it means for me is that I need to ascertain who the captain EO pick is for a given game week and I, I do this for 90% of the game weeks uh, during each season. And the best way for me to determine this is by running a weekly poll. You know, in terms of sample size, normally if I've got, you know, one to 2,000 votes, I usually can ascertain who the top one or two captaincy picks are. And sometimes I don't, I don't even need to run a poll. It's just so obvious. Now, in this instance, I'm going to show you actually three different captaincy polls, purely because in game week three, in my uh, understanding, there'll be no uh, clear captaincy pick because in game week three, we're going to have a split captaincy. So with the poll that I ran for a few days, I had just over 3000 people who have voted. Jesus is just short of a majority in terms of the number of people who feel that he is the best captain for game week three. Mohamed Salah has a credible 35% and Holland, who was the clear EO captain across uh, multiple rank tiers and among the legendary managers in game week two, he's got less than 15% of the vote in this particular poll. So clearly there is no standout captain from what we can see there. And then moving on to this poll from FPL Raptor, again, similar sample size, just over 3000 votes. But in this instance, Mohamed Salah has the majority of the vote, albeit a narrow majority with Jesus being on the flip side and having just over 30% of the vote. And once again, Holland. Um, has a significantly less share of the poll. So with just looking at just by looking at these two polls, it's clear that Holland doesn't stand a chance of being the EO captain. And it will be between Mohamed Salah and Gabriel Jesus. So now moving on to um, Fantasy Football Scouts poll, which actually has just over 2000 votes at the moment, it seems to be even more closer where Mohamed Salah has just over 30%, Jesus has just over 30% as well, and Holland once again, it's less than 15%. So from, from these trends, there's clearly a split captaincy. There's no clear captain obvious. It wouldn't damage my rank massively if I picked the wrong choice between Salah or Jesus, unless the pick that I chose blanked and the, the opposite pick scored a, a huge amount. But even on this scale, like it's clear to me that there, there'll be a, a split captaincy between Jesus and Salah. But also, I do want to say that at this stage of the season, especially when it comes to Captain EO, for me, it's about what the legendary managers pick in terms of captaincy, because the top 10k at the moment, it's very artificial. It's people who've used their chips. And as the season progresses, I would then be more interested on who the top 10k have picked, let's say from game week eight onwards, uh, as opposed to the overall captaincy picks, because that te the top 10K after game week eight seems more credi credible yeah, from my perspective. So then my shift afterwards would be looking at the top 10K captaincies and then on a secondary basis, the legendary uh, captaincy picks. Overall captaincy, you could probably factor it in at the moment, but then as the season progresses, I, that has less importance for me. But the captaincy polls just are an overall indication on where the captain EO is heading towards. And I would say more often than not, you can determine a very clear captain EO. But like as we've seen with the polling in this game week, um, you do get you know split captaincies as well, which puts you into a 50-50 decision. You know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but at least you have an indication on you know, what the status quo is. And as for my EO predictions for game week three, well, firstly, Holland had 100% EO 
in game week two, I'm pretty confident that his EO will be less than 100% in multiple rank tiers. In terms of Mohamed Salah and Jesus' EO, I think both will actually go over 100%. And I feel that the, the legendary managers might potentially favour Mohamed Salah more because he's more he's more tried and tested. And Whereas I feel that the, the current top 10k potentially and the overall crowd might potentially go for Jesus. And also one other point I'd like to highlight is the disparities that can appear on captaincy as well in certain rank tiers. So in game week two, Haaland was roughly 90% captained by the legendary managers, whereas overall it was more of a 50-50 split. So that's something else that's worth factoring in at the moment, especially when the points between different rank tiers are so close at this moment in time. And the chances are that if you've had a challenging start, you might go for the upside uh, captain at this moment in time whereas if you want to go with the template you'll probably go for the safer high high eo uh, captaincy across the board at the moment but you know whatever you choose all the best to you so there you have it that's um just one way of how i determine the eo captain and it's clear that in game week three we'll have a split captaincy and if it doesn't go your way don't worry there's still you know plenty of game weeks ahead take care all the best